Okay guys, um, so as promised, I like to show you how to make a pocket without the envelope punch to make a notch still a nice cute opening so uh, actually you can use anything of course but let's do another one um again i'm just gonna grab my leftover pieces just how i like it grab a scoreboard and you can decide if you like to do the bottom or not i mostly do not so i don't do it on this one Again, just make a little mark and then just score and cut it shorter and fold it over. Alright, so everybody can do this. And if you like, you even can make the bottom hinge if you like, but I don't like that. So. Alright, so then I'm just going to use this piece of paper, fits perfectly in the middle, okay, cutting this shorter, there you go. now how to make a nice notch without the envelope part. There are several ways, but what I also like, so the same method, you put your uh, design paper all the way, same height as your black, all right, you can use a little clip to put it all on its place if you like that, okay. Now what I like to do for this one is a punch, a round punch, very easy, if you don't have you can just cut a nice circle around maybe a glue bottle to make a nice circle but for me I'm just going to use this one and eyeball this a little bit where the middle is, I think this is nice. So you can use anything you like, but for me this works perfect. And then there is also, um, yeah, you can also use a template. Let's say, let's say this one here, right here. Same thing. Just move this exactly, nice and even. And then put anything on it, what you like, nicely in the middle. Draw the line with your pencil and cut it out the same way. I love to do this also, so you can use anything. Alright, so that's cool, isn't it? Pretty easy. I love to make incisions. Incisions? Um, a notch in a pocket. Makes it just a little bit nicer. Alright. And then you just put it back on. And there you go. Another cool pocket. And now I'm just gonna put this on my piece of paper. Don't forget the bottom. There we go. Pretty simple. And now a nice piece on the back, background. And then I can use this piece on anything. I even can make this as a little flippable. And if I want to do that, then I'm just gonna make 
half inch hinge with a 1 8 and then just fold it over and then I have another flippable page where I can add it everywhere I like in a project. All right. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. A nice extra flippable page pocket. You can use it this way. You can use it this way. This way. Whatever you're going to like it for. Cool. Easy peasy. <laughs> yes, it is. 